Hey everyone, in this video I am gonna give you an introduction to navigation component. So navigation component is a part of Android Jetpack and it makes the navigation between the different Android components easier. For example, if you are building one app and if you are using fragments then you need to handle everything like if you are moving from one fragment to another then if you are moving back to the first fragment these things we need to handle like we need to manage the back stack so navigation component makes it easier for us and also it follows this the navigation principles it says that we need one fixed star destination and if you click on the back button it should move back to the previous screen if you click on the up button it is same as the back button then also it moves back to the previous screen also if you are using deep linking then if someone clicks on that link it should first open the app and it simulates the manual navigation behavior for example if the deep linking needs to open the detail page then first the app should show the list page then it should open the detail page so these things are handled by this navigation component also it handles the fragment transaction and it also it is easier to manage like multiple screen navigation if we are navigating from one screen to different screen and if you are passing like different types of uh, arguments so everything it makes easier also navigation component supports p model also we have three key components for this navigation component one is called navigation graph it is an xml file so it is this is the main graph or this is the main file where we can handle all the navigation components like uh, the screens like what type of data we are passing these things we can manage at one place so this is called navigation graph and we have one nav host so basically this is an activity it's uh, called a container so the, uh, this container is responsible for replacing the screens mainly new host is an activity that is responsible for replacing the fragments in the activity and also we have one nav controller so this is a controller that manages the navigation so let me show you with an example to make everything clear so i have created one project this is uh, it has only one activity this main activity and one xml file this main activity main.xml file so the first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna create this navigation graph so for that just go here to this resource folder right click new android resource file then give a name for the graph suppose it is main graph then resource type we need to change is not it is it is not values we need to change it to navigation okay then if you can click on this okay this directory name is navigation then also android studio shows that we need these two implementation that we need to add in the gradle file for uh, using navigation so if you can just click on ok it will import this in the gradle file and also it will sync the project once the sync is done then this is the graph file so if you go here to the code then you can see that we have this only this navigation uh, component then let me go to design so here this using this icon we can add like different destinations in this different screens are called destinations if i click on it then it will show me all this available uh, activity or fragments so currently we have only one activity activity main so i'm gonna use it as the navigation host nav host so i'm gonna create one new destination here if i click on it then it will show me the same screen that is shown when we start when we start, uh, first create the project so suppose i'm creating a fragment blank fragment and i'm gonna click next suppose the fragment name is first fragment then it is fragment first this is the layout file for this then if i click on finish then you can see that this fragment is added here this is the first fragment similarly we can also add another fragment let me add one more i'm gonna click do the same and suppose the name of this is second fragment 
second fragment it is also added here and let me add one more i'm gonna click it same fragment blank it suppose it is third fragment third fragment so this fragment third you can click on this icon here to arrange it automatically so it is called auto arrange so it will arrange all these screens now if you double click on any of these screens then it will open that xml file for the screen for the first fragment let me remove the text view let me add one background color so for background let me add this color similarly let's move to the second fragment so you can see that it got updated in the uh, navigation graph as well so for the second fragment i'm going to change the background color again so let's edit one bluish color suppose this is the second fragment color let me remove the text view okay i need to add it again let's move to the graph then let's change the third fragment i'm going to remove this text view then here i'm going to add the color background so suppose it is green now let me start the project so the project is started but it is showing the activity main xml file this is because we need to define it as the nav host so in the activity main let me delete this text view then you can search for nav host so this is the nav host fragment you can just drag and drop it here it will show us like uh, if we have like multiple graphs so you can select from the graph that we want to show so it is showing this main graph that is the only graph we have click on ok now you can see that it is loading this red one that is the first fragment because we have this assigned this first fragment as the starting point we can also assign any other fragment as a starting point for example if i if you right click on it set as start destination then you can see that this home icon is showing for the second fragment and if you go to main activity main now you can see that this second fragment is, is the starting point so let me move it to first and set as a start destination so now it is the first fragment so start destination if i restart the app now you can see that this first fragment is loaded here now let's see how we can move from one fragment to another fragment so for that uh, you can see this button you can drag this to any other fragment for example suppose i'm clicking on it and i move it to second fragment then you can see that it links this first fragment to second fragment it's called action so if you can click on it then let me zoom it a little bit now let's move to this code now in this first first fragment you can see that we have this action we have one id of the action and we have one destination it's showing that the destination is for the second fragment similarly we can add the actions more than one now we have two actions for this first fragment if i go here then you can see that we have two actions one is move to move to the second fragment one is to move to the third fragment now let me add two buttons here in the first fragment suppose the name of this button is but for it is second fragment the id of this button is second fragment and let me change the name of this button as well it is second let me copy it and i'm going to paste it here 
let me change this frame layout to constraint layout this change to constraint layout now we can add constraint for these buttons let me add them to a chain right click chains create vertical chain so this one is the second and uh, okay let me change it as the third fragment the second button let me zoom it a little bit suppose the id is third button and the text is third and for the second one let me change the idea second button and the text is second so now we can go to our first fragment and we can get access to these buttons let me create one variable view here and we can simply return this view and here we can get uh, we can use find view id to get the button import this button r dot id dot second button then we can set one on click listener here on click listener similarly for the third button we can add one on click listener third button set on click listener so here we can say that just go from this first fragment to the second fragment if there is a click on the second button so for that we need to find a navigation controller so previously i have shown you that we need one navigation controller to control them uh, and manage the navigation for that we can use view dot find nav controller dot navigate so here we need to pass the id so in the main graph we had this action and this action so this action is used to move from first fragment to the second fragment and this action is used to move from first fragment to third fragment so let me copy the id now if i go to this first fragment i can use this id action first fragment to second fragment similarly i can use the id of the first to third fragment action first fragment to third fragment now let me restart there okay now let me click on the second button if i click on it you can see that second fragment is replaced here and if i click on this back button then it goes back to the first fragment if i click on this third then it is replacing the third fragment if i click on back then it moves here so you don't have to like manage the back stack and other things everything is handled by this nav graph so this is the basics of navigation controller and how we can use it but there are more like we can use like different types of animations also we can pass different types of arguments using the name graph so these things i'll show you in another video if you love this video please like it please subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions or anything you want to say just please drop one comment below thanks bye